I'm in was the big news of this midweek as Yokozuna Kakuryu, for the first time in several years, declared a full 11 days before the tournament that he would surely be competing. Yes, of course I'll be appearing, he told reporters by phone. It's just like any other tournament. I prepare and then I fight. Except that it isn't. After coughing through some of his interview yesterday, Kakuryu confirmed that in fact all is not as usual. He's been suffering from a heavy cough and cold for the past three weeks, hence his absence for the final two interstable sessions. I'm taking medication, but it's just not completely clearing up, he said, and I'm sure anybody familiar with a Japanese February sympathized. However, I'm still able to train properly, and my appetite and weight remain unchanged. If I keep preparing properly, I'll be all right for the tournament. He may well have taken a PCR just to be sure, but even if he did and it came back negative, journalists here feel awkward asking about it. He's currently fighting around 15 bouts a day with stablemate Kiribayama and insists his sessions are going well. I'm out is the other big news today from Shodai. Not of the tournament, thank goodness, but of the Olympic torch relay. The Ozeki was due to carry the torch in his Kumamoto hometown of Uto, 1,200 kilometers from Tokyo, on May the 5th, just four days before the May tournament. However, as wrestlers are confined to their stables for the entire fortnight prior to each tournament, he's had no choice but to forego the relay. I wanted to run with that torch, and cleared so many hurdles to do it, and it finally looked as though I could, but what's happened has happened, he said of his broken dream. It was just bad timing. I caught sight of the reports of other well-known figures pulling out too. It's a shame not to do it, but I hope to make up for that by delivering the good results expected of me in the tournament. The entire games are still up in the air, of course. Expect some more concrete decisions on them this month. Now, whereas Shodai is disappointed not to be travelling, and it would be nice if he could still carry the torch in Tokyo on behalf of his employer, stablemate Yutakayama is more than happy to be kept at home. His new son is still just four months old, and he loves the chance to be around him, preparing his meals and running his baths. I don't like to be referred to as one of the so-called ikumen, he said, decrying a Japanese term which extols busy working fathers simply for finding time to spend with kids. It's putting dads on a pedestal when all I'm doing is what it's normal to do, what my wife tells me is normal. If we weren't in a pandemic, I wouldn't be here to do all this. I'd be in Osaka, wouldn't I? But now I'm always in Tokyo, I have the time to do things, so I help out. And I think fatherhood's changed my attitude to sumo too. When I turned pro, I was like, I don't really care when I retire. But now I have more desire to prolong my career, to be around in that ring for a long time. You might have thought that his bosses would use the current situation to reassess sumo's traveling culture and the demands it places on wrestlers and staff. Is every single part of it absolutely necessary? At present, as you can probably guess, we're still waiting for such introspection.